Hey, welcome to another edition of Inside the Vandals. He's Joey Jenkins, I'm Tom Purvis, and Joey, remind me of where are we? Fabulous Las Vegas here at the Orleans Arena for the Big WAC Conference Tournament. And Tom, obviously, the Vandal women, the Vandal men, all here to hope that what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas, but they can take it on to the postseason. Yeah, of course, for the Vandal women, like you said, NCAA tournament or bust. I mean, they want to take it to the NCAA tournament. For this team, they're 15 and one in conference. They've been here before, they won it last year, and we'll just see if they can do it again. But a lot of really good accolades coming in for the women. Coach John Newley, Coach of the Year, Stacy Barr, uh, WAC MVP, Allie Ford was all defensive team, Alyssa Charleston, a little shorthanded there, I think, on the second team. She should have gotten first team. For this team, I mean, they, they just got to come in and play their best basketball. And the real question is, Joey, what team are we going to see? Is this the team that, that struggled to shoot the ball at home or, or shot the lights out on the road? Well, you hope that it's the latter. And obviously, it's the number one seed for the Vandals here at the conference tournament. So the biggest thing as well, Tom, they have the target on their back. That's something the Vandals have had to do all season, but now it comes to tournament time. And there's more pressure in the WAC tournament, obviously. They open up with Chicago State, a team that they beat by, they beat by 50 twice, Chicago State. But they have to take them seriously, Joey. Oh, and it's one of those things that obviously, if you're a coach and you're John Newley, you want them prepared and ready to play for each and every game, and you hope that starts well with their opening game. And obviously, Joey, for the men, Two wins on the road, two huge wins on the road. Is this team beginning to trend upward? Well, that's the hope. Here's the problem with the team. They've been very inconsistent. Sometimes they're winning two in a row, other times they're losing two in a row. So many people believe they don't know what to expect out of the Vandal men team. You could see them hopefully carrying it on throughout the weekend or falling in the opening round. It's all about shooting well and getting the role players to step up. Yeah, you talk about role players, you talk about shooting well. How about Connor Hill? He's been playing so well. Obviously, Steven Madison has been the player for this team all season. Last couple games, though, the last five games, Connor Hill, 21.2 points a game, shooting 68% from downtown. That's just, that's filthy. Well, he's had and then six, almost six threes a game. Well, he's had 13 made three-pointers in the past couple of games. And for Connor Hill, when it comes down to tournament time, is he the hidden gem that helps the, the Vandals get over the hump? And that's been big for the Vandals. Everyone knows Steven Madison's gonna show up, but, but could Connor Hill be that guy that helps them get to the next level? I like where your head's at, and I, I know that you talked to Don Verlin much more in depth about this. Yeah, I talked with Coach Verlin earlier this week about the big week here in Las Vegas. Well, Coach Verlin joins us for one last time here in the Cowan Spectrum, and obviously we get ready for Vegas. That's the, the big conference tournament, but you had two more games on the regular season. You win both of them. That's a big, big road trip that you guys got done. Yeah, it was great to go out on the road and, and get two wins. I thought our team played extremely well, played extremely hard, and, and showed a lot of heart uh, finding a way to win both at Chicago State and Missouri-Kansas City. Both those games, obviously, on the road for you. That's been tough this season, winning road conference games. What changed in that road trip? Well, we had a number of guys step up and play well, especially Connor Hill. He shot the ball extremely well, and <clears throat> I think we just found a way to kind of get it out and get it done, made the plays when we had to, um, you know, and it was, a, it was a team effort. We had a number of guys step up and play well on, on both sides of the ball, and, and uh, it was good to, to finish this season with two whack road wins. What does that do momentum-wise to, to win the last two regular season games? Well, you hope it helps you. Uh, you know, that, that's, uh, you know, it's always good to be playing good when you head into the conference tournament. You know, we've won four out of our last five. Uh, I think this team is starting to play better. It's playing how I thought it would play all year long, and, and, and I couldn't be more excited headed into the conference tournament because I, I really believe if we'll continue to play the way we've been playing, we'll have a shot at winning this conference tournament. The game against Chicago State, you go up by 14 at halftime and then kind of a tale of two halves. What, what changed in that second half? Well, the first half we played very well. We shot it very well. We were very aggressive on the break and, and we were that way um, through, through about to, to about the 10 minute mark of the basketball game. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they, they started to play a little better. We made a couple mistakes. We, we missed on a couple defensive assignments and, and they got a good team. I mean, they finished third in the conference. Uh, they're a good basketball team and, and they made some shots are very explosive and they got right back into it. And we kind of expected a good game and boy, we got one. Connor Hill, seven three-pointers, so he gets six in the game also against Kansas City. When you look at just three-point shots in general, how much do you have to rely on that as a coach? Well, uh, quite a bit, uh, especially uh, from Connor Hill. Uh, he's obviously our best three-point shooter. Uh, when he's been able to make a number of threes, uh, we've been a lot harder to beat. And, uh, you know, I thought Connor really stepped up and played well. 
Connor Hill, Steven Madison, Suki Wiggs, pretty consistent with the, the last two games. How important is that going into the tournament? Well, really important. Uh, you know, Wiggs has played very good the last half of the year. Uh, arguably, he's, one, he's our best player uh, during that time. He's been real consistent uh, in his play. Uh, but Steve has, has had a tremendous year, and, and it was nice to see, like I said earlier, nice to see Connor shoot the ball well. You know, the bright side of things is we are playing better. I, I think we're in a good state of mind. Um, you know, we play Missouri, Kansas City again, um, and, and we'll play either Utah Valley or University of uh, Texas Pan American. So a great challenge ahead of us, but, but I think we're where we need to be. What we got to make sure we do is continue to do the things we've been doing. We heard just recently before we start the tournament that Steven Madison, you know, first team all whack. What does that do for a program to have some of these individual awards go to your players? Well, it's awesome, you know, and, and all these individual awards are a direct result of team play and, and the guys have done a great job of, of getting the ball to Steve, uh, executing the offense, setting screens for him, and Steven's had a tremendous year. You know, <clears throat> I really believe that he was the MVP of this league. Uh, no one had better numbers, no one impacted their team more than Steven, but, you know, we didn't finish high enough, and, and usually it goes to one of the teams that, or one of the players that's in the top two seeds. So, Excellent, excellent year by Steven. Now what we got to do is, is, is make sure we're ready to go for the conference tournament this weekend. And the conference tournament getting ready. It's Kansas City. Just saw Kansas City now with the stakes a little bit higher. We'll talk with Coach Verlin about the conference tournament next on Inside the Vandals.